Hello there, today we're going to continue our conversation about subnetting and if you are starting to study subnet, we advise you to please first check our first video and then come along with the others. This is the third one of the series and we're going to talk about the slash 28 through slash 30 networks. So first we're going to check the slash 28 and we're going to do it through a example. We're going to find the, the terminate, actually the network for the slash 28. So first we found this subnet mask and binary for it, which have has 28 bits activated on the network portion, remaining 3, remaining 4 bits on the, net, on the host portion. Then we found the subnet and the terminate the subnet in decimal that's gonna be 255.255.255.240 and then we're gonna find the range that's 16 and the number of hosts that's 14 and the number of subnets is gonna be 16 if you don't know how to do this calculations please check our first video where you have the step by step explain it how to do it and also some exercises. Then with that information we can establish the IP address allocation for each network. So in the network number one we're gonna have it's gonna start on zero and ends at fifteen and the network number two is gonna be six from sixteen to thirty one. And you're gonna do this until you went all the 16 subnets. So here we have the network 15 that's going to start on 234 and ends at, at 249. And the last network that's going to start on 240 and ends at 255. And with this, we have all the slash 28 network uh, determined and you are ready to settle your host. So after that, um, if you wanted to check the full example with all the 15, 16 networks listed, check please our PDF file of the of the video. So this one uh, we're gonna check now the slash 29 network and it's gonna come through for the same example. So here you have IP address and you're gonna do it uh, slash network for it. So here we have the subnet masking binary with 29 bits activated on the network portion and three remaining bits for the hosts. And this is the subnet masking decimal, the range, the number of hosts, and also the number of subnets. With this information, we start allocating the IP addresses for each network. So here we have the network number 1 starting at 0 and ending at 7. The network number 2 is starting at 8 and ending at 15. And again, you do these steps until you find all the 32 networks. Here I want to show you this flash, the network number 31 is going to start at 240 and end at 247. And the network number 32 is going to we start at 248 and end at 255. With all, again, if you want to see the full example, please check our PDF file of the video. And for last, the slash 30 network, we're going to check the same example. So we're going to find first our binary mask. So this is a mask with 30 bits activated on the network portion and two remaining bits for the host portion. Then we found find the um, subnet mask in decimal that's 255.255.255.252 and then the range that's four, the number of hosts that's two and the number of subnets that's sixty-four. One more thing that I just forgot to tell that this one is the last subnet that you can create 
that's the minor one that you can have because if you activate another bit here on the last octet you're gonna find yourself with only two addresses on the subnet and because in IPv4 you have two reserved addresses we're gonna end with zero addresses for the host so the slash 30 is the minor subnet that you can have with two hosts per subnet per network so let's check the IP allocation IP addresses allocation so the network number one starts at zero and at three the network number two starts at four and at seven and you're gonna do this until you have the 64 subnet so the network number 63 is gonna start at 248 and end at 251 and the network 64 is gonna start at 252 and end at 255 so this is it thank you for watching see you at the next video and don't forget to check our description for the PDF file of this video and also the exercise file to you to practice your knowledge thank you and see you